welcome back or welcome to story time with me, Miss Katie Kinsey Bay Bay. We pause for dramatic effect over here. Uh, if you are new, this is where I kind of just tell stories of my wrestling experiences that I have had over my 27 years of life. If you aren't new, welcome back. This chapter. I've already done WrestleMania, I have done SummerSlam, and the one that I always forget I went to, this is the story of my first and only Survivor Series experience. Now, I say I always forget because I was eight years old, I was very young, let me, let me paint the scene. That's what I do. I tell my stories. November 14th, 2004. Survivor Series. In Cleveland, Ohio. Which, depending on when that gets announced, may be the location for this year's SummerSlam. And before you ask, I do not know if I will go. But... Cleveland. It was the Gund Arena at the time. It is now the Rocket Mortgage Field House. I had to look it up because I had no idea. From what I remember about going to the show, it was a Sunday. I I uh I guess I should show that. I have my official ticket stub. Look at that. I don't have many of these left like physical tickets, but that one I do have, and I actually found it the other day, which inspired this. Sunday, it was me, my mom, my brother, and I do not remember if my sister was there because my brother and I were more into wrestling than she was. So I just, I think it was just me and my brother because that was like our, I guess Christmas gift that year, my sister ended up getting to go to like an amusement park in a different state too. So we each got to do something cool. My brother and I wanted to go to Survivor Series. And that's what we did. We hopped in my mom's boyfriend's truck at the time. I remember that because I was like laying down in the back. <laughs> Again, eight years old. I don't have a lot of memories about it, but I remember that. I do not remember if I went to school the next day. If I went to school the next day, I am a trooper. As an eighth grade, uh, not eighth grade, eight, eight years old, that would have been like second grade. Uh, there's no chance I would have went to school. Yeah, no, no chance. But this show, again, completely always forget I've went. So I have gone to three, no, okay, technically four out of the big five. Money in the Bank, which I will do a story time on as well. SummerSlam, Survivor Series, and Mania. I just need the Royal Rumble. That's all I need. And then you guys would get a story time out of it. So that would be fun. Let's let's talk Survivor Series, okay? Again, 2004 thing. Uh, this car, I had to pull up the card because again, I don't remember much. I remember bits and pieces. I remember my girl here. Trish Stratus, and Lita. Trish was champion at the time. Lita and Trish had plenty of beef back in the day. Still trinkles of it throughout, of course, because that's what they do. Uh, they had a title match for the women's championship. Trish was champion at the time. This is why I always remember this, like, being here, is Trish broke her nose so this was before Mask Trish. This was right before that. And it was because Lita. Lita broke her nose. Again, from what I remember, being there. Like a steel chair was involved and it was like a disqualification. But I don't remember Lita actually hitting Trish. I haven't gone back and watched this either. Which I probably could have done. I just... I like just remembering things as I remember them in this aspect. But I'm going to do something different. I don't know if I've ever like fully run down a card, but I'm, I think why not, you know? Because like, I don't remember as much as the other ones that I have done with shows I've gone to. So 
La Resistance, which was Sylvian Grenier and Robert Conway, defeated the Hurricane and Rosie, rest in peace, just in a simple tag match, start off hot, for the, uh, what was this, the Cruiserweight Championship. You guys remember the Cruiserweight Championships? I do. I distinctly remember this. Not this match, but the Cruiserweight match. Spike Dudley, who just got beat up constantly being part of the Dudley family. Man's got thrown around all the time. It was crazy. Was the champion, successfully defended his title in a fatal four-way against Billy Kidman, who doesn't like it enough recognition, Chavo Guerrero, and Mr. 619 himself, Rey Mysterio, which makes sense. You look at the three, you look at most of them, and they're very small. They're very small boys, small men. So, yeah, they're cruiserweights. And from so, according to Wikipedia, because I pulled up the card, the match was only nine minutes long. So, you know, they were going crazy flips and jumping off everything. I mean, feel like I do need to go back and watch those. Just for some things, like for the Intercontinental Championship, Shelton Benjamin, our champion, <laughs> defeated the now father of the patriarchy in AEW, Christian Cage. And this is when he had uh, Tyson Tomko with him. For those who don't know who Tyson Tomko is, A, Google it just for the pictures. For the pictures of what he looks like. He had, like, the goatee and, like, kind of twirled at the end. He had a lot of tattoos. He always wore, like, a chain necklace, which, like, I do too, but pop off Tyson and Tom go. He had, like, some part of his face pierced. I want to say he had a septum piercing. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But, like, I just, I remember him in this time period with Christian. Boy, oh, boy, what a freaking time that was um this card had two traditional these were four on fours not five on fives wait one two three yeah so before it became the five on fives that we've known in the past and before war game stuff in wwe dozen four had two survivor series matches four on fours v high seat I remember, I remember this. So the traditional Survivor Series match for those underwear, four on one team, four on the other, elimination style. You pin someone, they're gone. So it was Team Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero, The Big Show, John Cena, and Rob Van Dam, which, what a team. And that also reminds me that I have seen Eddie Guerrero live. So that's like a nice little like memory. I wish I had like pictures and stuff from this. Damn it. That sucks. Uh, taking on Team Angle. I mean, I'm a Pittsburgh girly. I love Kurt Angle. So Kurt Angle, Carlito, Caribbean Cool, which was his full name back then, Luther Reigns, and Mark Jindrak with Jesus. This was the time frame that, let's just talk about WWE storylines for a second. I know I'm all over the place with this, but this was around the time, I think it was after Survivor Series, that Carlito had his homie, I want to say his Luther Reigns, uh, he had his bodyguard basically stab Cena. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it was Jesus. It was Carlito's bodyguard because it's up here at the top this was when cena like got stabbed quote unquote lots of quotes in the nightclub when he was feuding with carlito which what a fucking uh, what even what did, what did we even do i don't know the following match was the undertaker which i remember feeling those flames so we were in section um, we were in club seats, so section 107. So we were a little high up. Not terribly high, but a little high up. I remember feeling the fire from his entrance. 
Because, like, we weren't close to the stage or anything. We were like, if this is the ring down here, we were, like, up here looking down. I remember that. Felt that fire. It was hot. It was cool. It was just an awesome experience. Do you have to see Undertaker in his prime like that? Ah, uh, it was it was so fun. He was feuding with Heidenreich. Yeah, I remember Heidenreich. Cause Jesus, who was the Paul Heyman guy at the time? Yeah, yeah. I already talked about Trish and Lita. Uh, JBL, who was the WWE champion at the time, defeated. King Booker, well, this was before King Booker, but this was Booker T. And reading here, the stipulation on the match was, if JBL lost, he would leave wrestling forever. Now, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this not, I don't know if I remember if it was for a title, but isn't this kind of the same thing that happened with Ray and JBL? Where if Ray won, then JBL would, like, leave I don't remember. Uh, but it, listen, JB is for as controversial as JBL is, he can really go in the ring. I will say that. That's about all I'll say. <laughs> and then the final match our second traditional four on four Survivor Series match. We had Team Orton, Randall Keith Orton. Y'all know I love him. So we had Randy, Chris Benoit. Chris Jericho, and Maven. You guys remember Maven? Come on. What a time we lived in. The, f the rosters at this time were insane. Because I don't remember if this was specifically Raw. No, I feel like this was like a, um, this was like a combined show. Because Randy and them were on Raw. Yeah. Okay, talking myself through it as we do. And just ignore the play noises in the background. I have a window open because it's actually a nice out. Uh, so Team Orton defeated Team Triple H. Because, you know, Triple H has got to be feuding with baby Randy at the time. Triple H, Batista, Edge, and Gene Snitsky. With Ric Flair also there. Which, like, to be honest, we didn't really need Ric Flair there. Oh, and the stipulation for this match, which did have one, whichever team won would be, um, I'm sorry, would each be in charge of Raw for the next four weeks. Which, what a stipulation to have. You win your match against your foe, and they're just like, hey, you get to run, you have creative control for a week. That's awesome. But what a stacked card that was. I like reminiscing and remembering the stuff I've got to experience live. Because I take it all in, depending on how young I am. I was, like, very young for Mania and Survivor Series. So I, don't re I didn't retain as much then as I do now. But I try and soak in those moments. Um, like, when I go to Mania next month. I'm gonna I'm gonna soak it all in, and you guys will have to let me know. Like I'll I'll vlog it, but if you want a story time on Mania again, I will do one. If the people want it, I do plan on doing Money in the Bank from 2022. Yeah, yeah, because I did Vegas back to back years, which that was also a fun time. Vegas two years in a row, wild. <clears throat> So that, I do plan on that being the next chapter, the next installment in the Storytime series here. I hope you guys like the new background, too, I added. Because last time I did a Storytime, we weren't even on StreamYard yet. So I know it's been a while, and I do apologize. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little the little trip down memory lane, the little Storytime of my first Survivor series. I would love to go to another Survivor series, especially with war games being like the helm of it now that would be really cool to see but thank you guys so much for watching hanging out with me listening to me ramble hearing about the card from survivor series 2004 
guarantee a lot of people don't remember it. Or if you do remember it, let me know what you remember. Were you there? Let me know in the comments down below. Because, you know, we typically do live shows and stuff for those who are unaware. Those are always uh, Thursdays, 6 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash showcase and where you're watching this, youtube.com slash showcase We would, we, and I, Savannah and myself, would really appreciate if you liked, commented, subscribed on the YouTubes, Twitch, follow the channel, all that stuff. We also have a Patreon now. We didn't have a Patreon last time I did this either. <laughs> that is uh, patreon.com slash showcase It is specifically non-wrestling content. I keep saying I'm going to try and do something. I have an idea in my head. I just don't know how I'm going to execute it for that. Basically, I want that to become, for me, true crime stuff because I'm, that's also something I'm very interested in. So I would just, I just need to figure out how I would edit a video and figure stuff out. So it's a work in progress, but there's other stuff on there. It's $3 a month if you want to check it out. I highly recommend. I mean, I think I'm entertaining. Hopefully you guys do too. Storytelling is something I love doing. As weird as it is with the memories that I may or may not have and may have fabricated some of them in my brain. Like, oh yeah, this happened then. I don't know. But let me know if you guys have recently watched this. If you go back and watch the card, let me know what your favorite match was. Or just based off of hearing me talk about it, what was what do you think your favorite match would have been? You know, just just talk to me. Let me know what's going on in your brains, you know? That's all I ask. But I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Me, of course, Katie Kinsey, Bay Bay. This has been the next chapter, the next installment, however you want to put it, of story time with Katie Kinsey. Bye bye. Bye bye.